And now, it's time for This Week in Barbecue. <laughs> do you have the roll the intro? Do we not? We don't have a... Um, I do have a three-minute long special video. Nice. I thought we'd have a specialty intro for This Week in no, Barbecue. No, uh, this, this barbecue video, though, doesn't have any sound on it. It's just to while we're talking. So, Let's last weekend, you two plus ish, ish and that's it. Mm-hmm. The three of you went down to Round Rock for the 2022 Texas High School Barbecue State Championships. It's the second straight year we've gone. Uh, I went with you guys last year. Mm-hmm. Second straight year you guys have gone, I should say. First time Ish has gone. Uh, it was in a different location this year in Round Rock instead of Lano. Um, let's go to our resident Lano expert, Ashley Pickle, um, because you're biased in this. I am absolutely biased. You're absolutely yeah. biased. It was at the Kirkendall Center mm-hmm. in Bro- Oh, I remembered. Very nice. It's because they had a quarterback. Case. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad truth. Um, how did you feel about it being at Round Rock versus Lano? I personally wish that it was in Lano. I think that was a great fit. But I will say, like, taking my hometown bias out of it, it's great for them to be at Round Rock and at the Dell Diamond. Um, And a big reason for that is because since it was the Dell Diamond and Round Rock and blah, 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 Nolan Ryan obviously has his mm-hmm. meat company. He They made a massive donation to them with all of the meats that they use to cook. And so for them to be able to partner with Nolan Ryan being at a Rangers adjacent facility and all that stuff, I think that is so awesome. And yeah. it's a really nice venue for the kids to get to be at in the ballpark. And when they heard speakers, they were able to go sit down in the ballpark. So bias, yes, I, I wish that it was in Lano, but the, I think I'm the only person. <laughs> no, it's a massive, it's a massive event. Um, 85 teams this year. 85 teams. Mm -hmm. Which is about 20 more than last year when you were there. So it was huge. Okay. 85 teams out there. And uh, (laughs) there's This is just going to scroll through Um, as we go. And and so there were 85 teams out there. And they were, if you don't know, they compete in five different competitions. It is dessert, beans, brisket, chicken, and ribs. Um, And... They are, it's, it's all high school kids uh, out there doing all the work. Uh, the, from what I understand, well, I remember the, the code, they do have coaches, but they're not allowed to, to, to help aside from like talking to them. They can't touch right. anything. Um, Powers, how would you compare and contrast this year's experience versus last year's experience? Well, I mean, year two was a little bit different because year one, that was our first time covering it. And year two, I felt like some of the major players in the barbecue high school state barbecue world knew who we were, Mm -hmm. you know, walking on to the playing field, so to speak, you know. So some of the top teams were excited that we were there. Of course, you know, the administration um, was excited. I had a – I personally had a great time. I was able to judge ribs. So last year he did chicken. For those of you who don't know, this year he did ribs. And 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 here here we go. I mean, there's your your scorecard, how it lays out. Um, But I was able to – yeah, I mean, ch- ch- ribs was like a judging ribs was like a life changing mm-hmm. type of thing for me. You know, you guys know how excited I was to be able to judge the chicken last year. Well, heading into the ribs this year, I felt like I'm I have a, you know, a year of experience. Look at that, man. <laughs> That's how pumped up he was. <laughs> I have a year of experience yeah. under my belt now. Right. You know, I kind of know what to expect and I prepared myself mentally and physically for the competition this year, I wasn't walking in blind. I knew what to expect. I kind of had an idea of what would separate out what I felt like was a championship quality barbecue from, you know, just a great barbecue because these are the best of the best, right? Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing that's going to be bad. You had to qualify to get here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah, you like, can't just show up and just like get out some charcoal briquettes and throw some burgers out there. Like, you know, right. these, like, these are training kids who know what they're this. doing. Yeah, they they were training for this. I was training yes. to be a judge mm-hmm. for this as well because I want to do the right thing within the competition. I don't want to be a novice judge. I want to be a professional judge so that I can give a fair rating. Right. And as a guy who ranks things for a living, I think that I'm, you know, I'm getting there as far as the judging world is concerned. As you can see, I'm getting notes from a world-class renowned chef. um, That was the executive chef. Yeah. The director, not even head chef, executive chef. Wow. You know, sitting next to the director's daughter, who's a, you know, a professional barbecue judge. So I'm picking brains and learning how to uh, okay. to judge this competition. So then I have, okay, so now you've judged chicken and you've judged ribs. 
it strikes me that I wonder, is judging ribs tougher? Like, did you find that to be more challenging or was judging chicken more challenging or were they about equal? I think, honestly, I think judging chicken was tougher. Oh, really? And that's because the chicken takes on so many different flavors, profiles, you know? It so it's a lot more apples to oranges. Flavor, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. So you could really have some huge variances on the – and trust me, there were variances on the ribs too, but the one chicken – could taste like cherry wood and one chicken could taste like mesquite that mm -hmm. is a really strong flavor profile i also and correct me if i'm wrong here because i just thought about this when you were talking but i also feel like the moisture level of chicken can vary a lot more than ribs because even dry True. ribs are still moist but chicken mm -hmm. can be straight up dry yeah you know like i feel like that adds another thing into That's it a good point yeah i agree i do agree with that i mean seriously though like there were out of now 40 50 different meats I've tried at the high school state championships. There hasn't been one that I would reject, right? Like all of them were, were at least all pretty good. Yeah, they were all like the worst one was they were pretty not good. Let me up, ask you guys yeah. this: like okay. in the barbecue world, mm -hmm. you go to Rudy's. Okay. On your scale of one to ten, where would you rate Rudy's? Uh, I'm going to refrain from answering that question, considering I would love if Rudy sponsored us. But I would just <laughs> say, like, okay, I have a number in my head. Okay. I have a number in my head. The, um, all these barbecues that we try at this are like your upper echelon. Like you would compare Mark, them. So, so like Franklin's and so Heinz you're saying and you Hutchins. Would yeah, you would, you would compare them to destination barbecue joints. Yeah, exactly. like the one-off barbecue joints, not necessarily chain barbecue joints, I think is exactly. a good way to That's put that. That's the best way to describe it is like these were all like world-class bites. Yeah, if, yeah it, and it's kind of one of those things like if, if – Everyone knows Texas for barbecue, so if you're bringing in an out-of-state family member that's never had Texas barbecue, you're taking them to your favorite spots. You know, you're not yes. taking them to somewhere that they could get up in Wisconsin or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, no right. doubt. And we tried a bite of brisket on the way out. Oh my god! I don't know where the uh, teams finished in brisket. Wall. I I, I know where the the overall team. Yeah. Finished. Did you see pickle? Did you? No, see that? I don't know uh, specifics, but rock wall. Holy cow. <laughs> they made a brisket. I'm telling you, it was the best brisket I've tried it in was my life. Insane. And wow. I, I think best we brisket all you've ever had. Best brisket I've ever had. And that was at, that was, was from my last bite of I don't know how much do you think I ate at the barbecue. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, I was just gonna say here's the difference between last year and this yeah, year. Last year we you. were a little timid mm -hmm. when it came to asking to try things. Now last year they offered us a lot more things, but it's because this year the coaches weren't allowed to even be under the tent with them. Oh, um, it okay. was completely yeah. sprout. They had to 20 watch. To Twenty five foot. Um, Interesting. Around oh, so okay. that's the reason why last year coaches were always the ones like, hey, do y'all want to try this? Do you want to try? Kids aren't going to offer it up because they don't want to get in trouble. Like, oh, should we have given that to him? So Powers just straight up started asking. I mean, he would just walk up and go, can I try that? Can I try it? And they were like, yeah, man, here you go. So we tried so much brisket this year, which was cool because we didn't get to do that yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah, I feel like I had like a couple bites of brisket last year, yeah, but like not many. Because we left. I think their brisket due time mm -hmm. was an hour up this year, okay. if I remember correctly. So it had to be turned in at 3. I think last year it was turned in at 4. So we were already leaving by that time. But we tried so much brisket, and it was all unbelievable. And the cool part, another cool part was there was a sophomore from Rankin that had won – overall last year and he like just in the brisket category mm -hmm. he got grand champion um as a sophomore this year every single regional qualifier they went to he had won grand champion so we got to try that grand champion brisket it was awesome yeah it was very very savory is how i would explain yeah it had like mm -hmm. a beef stew undertone kind of like you said yeah. um yeah, beefy. And the, just the so beef everybody knows beefy the, yes but yeah, it was like beefy. like stew. Yeah. It, no, it tasted you. like soup mm. almost. And just so everybody understands the rules on, you know, no one's allowed inside the ropes now. There's a 20 to 25 foot barrier. We were allowed inside the ropes as media. And there are certain rules That's that what are. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. There are certain rules that are enforced, right? Like if you're. They're not allowed to let anyone try the meat until after it's been turned in for judging. Yes. No matter who it is. Yeah. So you can't go up and ask for a bite of brisket. In the middle of it. You right. have to wait for after everything's been turned in er, because th there can be no um, coaching or feedback mm. or 
Yeah, uh, it's like any of that, yeah, more salt or whatever. Yeah, you can't right, do that or like cook you this can't longer. Say, yeah. Like any suggestion at all would be an unfair advantage, right? So these are the rules of barbecue. So when we get there, dessert has been turned in, beans has been turned in, chicken has been turned in and judged, and all those are like fair game. If there's leftovers when you show up of those categories, now, then... Now, okay. Now, I have, I have a question about dessert because I know you're not a dessert person, Pickle. Mm, but there's one. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, okay. there is I was gonna, one. I was yeah. going to direct my question to you, but I will now direct no, my No, there's question one, to you. and it's funny because... You're so, not a sweets person. Not a sweets person. Do not like sweets. But the same girl that came up to us last year from... Oh, no. Where was she from? I can't... It was the tent right at the beginning. It wasn't um, O'Donnell, I didn't... Yes. Was it yes, O'Donnell? Yes, okay. it was O'Donnell. Uh, she makes pineapple pudding... And we had some last year yes, in the little did. cups as it. we were leaving. And she was like, Very oh, dude. Good. She came up to me, Ish, and Ish's mom. And she was like, hey, do y'all want to try this? And we just had a spoon and we got like a last little bit. And she goes, as I was like getting it, I thought it was banana pudding. And as I'm getting it, she goes, yeah, it's pineapple pudding. And I went, you, last year. She goes, yeah, I'm the one from last year. So anyway, I hope she never graduates or at least keeps coming back because that pineapple pudding is so good. She's got her 17th year of eligibility exactly. there. Exactly. I need showing up. I need that little lady to keep coming back. <laughs> She's like a grandmother. She's still there. Yeah. Like, All right, there you go. Um, well, okay. Before we turn the page, I want yeah. to at least to make sure that we recognize the winners yes. of the competition, right? And these are the uh, championship rankings okay so these and are the these are the these are the, the so the top three plus i guess one through 37 you said there were 85 yeah there so were even 80. being 37th you're in the top half of the very best of the best barbecue teams mm -hmm. and you can see here there are multiple submissions from some high schools you can qualify as a i guess a boy does katula have yeah. three in the top 17 Ketula has mm -hmm. three in the top 20 and four in the top 37 so wow. I mean, looking at these rankings you have to give a special shout out to them but checking in at number one Cowboy, Cowboy Up Barbecue, McMullen County High School. Congratulations wow. to McMullen County. The best barbecue Ooh. in the state. Grand champion. Overall, grand champion resides in McMullen County. So McMullen County is, that's where, it's down south. It's kind of near Three Rivers is almost in McMullen County. Mm. Um, but yeah, they do not... They, I wonder what their enrollment is. Uh, McMullen County High School enrollment is 267. It's in Tilden. So shout out to Cowboy Up Barbecue. Uh, followed by Smoking Vaqueras mm -hmm. from Catula, which would... Note. Now, I am not, uh, I am not a fluent Spanish speaker, but... Vaqueras. Mm -hmm. I think it's an all-female team. Awesome. That happened last year. I want to say the San Antonio Madison mm -hmm. girls finished. Yeah, very, the barbecuities. The barbecuities. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, from La uh, Navarro High School, uh, Lanier FFA Barbecue came in third. Um, okay. So, do you feel like you got enough to eat? Oh yeah. He didn't eat at Whataburger. Yeah, I couldn't even. I couldn't eat at Whataburger when we got there. I think I probably had all in all at least 50 bites. I don't know what that equates to. Yeah. But as far as like the, a plate or concern. Yeah. So this year the judging was a little bit different. I judged 12 ribs only, mm -hmm. right? That 12th rib, I took as big a bite as I could. I was like, <laughs> you know, like I still feel comfortable. Like I'm, I love it. I'm piling this last bite in. You know, I'm taking advantage of the last bite. So I knew where I was stood on that 12th bite. So Ish couldn't join us today. We wanted Ish to be on the show, but he's, he's busy with actual work instead of our nonsense. Uh, what did... What did Ish, uh, you know, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, like, you know, a, fresh eyes on the... Because you guys knew what you were getting into, or at least had an idea. What did Ish think? I'll, I'll give you an opportunity to speak for him. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite pastime. Right. Um, I think he, he... I asked him afterwards, I was like, so, like, did you really enjoy it? And he said it was a blast. He said he would mm. absolutely go back next year. Um, and, and, yeah, like, he went when we got all that brisket. Because him and I didn't... I don't think we had a rib ever... Um, cause we were really filming powers and stuff mm -hmm. during that whole thing. And so him, me, him and his mom really got to dive into the brisket cause powers was just throwing it like, Hey, they need some too. It was great. Um, the master of ceremonies, if you will. But, uh, no, Ish said he had a great time and it was really cool too. Cause like he mentioned, like 
Chuck and, and that whole crew mm-hmm. out there, uh, Miss Marnie, they do such a good job of welcoming people in and being really excited. The other thing that Ish pointed out that I didn't realize last year, obviously we know that they give out a ton of scholarships. I mean, mm-hmm. it is awesome. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, like the grant, like the grand prizes are like it's mo- it's like yeah, it's like monetary, five thousand yeah. dollars scholarship yeah. for each member of the team. Right. I mean, it's huge. But they also partner with. Oh goodness, I need to go back and look, and I will have oh, this the culinary tomorrow. School. The, they yeah. partner with the culinary school, um, so that's why the executive chef of that culinary school was there, and then there were three head chefs and then some other like chefs in training that were all there. Um, But Ish pointed out how refreshing it was that they focus so much on trade school Mm -hmm. with these kids. Cause so many times, and we're, we're part of that too, because we talk about high school and we instantly talk about like college football. It, it is so awesome that a, organization like this will recognize that a four year college is not the right path for every single person. And it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And so they highlight trade schools. And so it's not only the culinary school, like those scholarships can go out to welding. They can Mm -hmm. go out to, you know, uh, power line departments and all that or schools. And so it's like, that is so cool that people recognize there's this whole thing you can get involved in that you do not have to go to a full year university. And that was something that Ish pointed out that I don't think either of us or any of us had really recognized until he got there. So that was awesome. I agree with you too. And not only are these kids being groomed to be great barbecue cooks? They're involved in shop. I mean, we saw some really mm-hmm. amazing uh, barbecue pits. Dude, some the rigs um, they've got are yeah, incredible. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the schools, the one of the competitors had built the entire awning, and uh, it was insane. It was amazing what they've done in the shop to create some of the stuff that they use out there. So yeah, yeah, he like, had a whole trailer real fast that folded mm-hmm. out. So the the roof of it comes up so that it's shade and then there's a whole table with six different bar stools and it was beautiful like stained wood and then they could all sit on it and everything and I asked him I said man this is awesome he goes thank you I made it and I just looked at him and I said you you like I thought he was kidding with me and he goes no I made this last year as like my project in ag and I was like Right, what? <laughs> and and I go back to because last year when we talked with the the, the barbecue coach at Rankin, he kind of talked about like yeah, what I started was I'm I'm the welding guy, I'm the welding teacher at Rankin, right. and it's like I don't, I guess you could go to school to be go to college to be a welder, absolutely, that's you could, huge, but like the trade school is a trade lot school more is where it goes, yeah. like you could go to a four university, but like. That's going to be more trade schools and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And so um, that's just super interesting, that, especially, you know, you see a lot of those guys who are in ag and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It's like, you know, four-year college is not right for them. No. It's not, and not the right choice. And like, that's okay. I mean, we can peel back the curtain here because we work in journalism. They're going to go out there, go to those trade schools, and make 10,000 times more money than we do talking you, about football. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> why would you? Because it's a true thing that people don't recognize. It's a labor of love, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go after and do what you love is the point of that. Yeah, but think about how happy you are getting to be here with us is what I'm saying. You know what Again, I mean? with, so with powers. <laughs> shout, um, shout out to High School Barbecue Inc. for everything yeah. they do. Chuck, Marnie, the two Betsies, and Marcus. Thanks for making us happy. <laughs> two <great>. Betsies. <laughs> um, They're great. Yeah, it's a, fir- it's a first-class organization. It's a first-class event all the way. I was sad I couldn't go. I was very – I was – uh, I was feverishly refreshing social media to see all of your tweets and, and, and instas and things yeah. like that. It was uh, I'm coming back. I'm coming was, back. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, they'll probably do it again next year and mm-hmm. we'll probably be there. Uh, we were talking about and I'll just blow up a spot, pro- up, you know, on on, on the, the, the show. Yeah. That next year, we just got to drag Travis Heim down there, like our buddy Travis. Well, and I thought about it, too, when you were talking about Coach Gilbert being down in Austin. Like, if it's in Round oh. Rock again, that's a lock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you yeah, kidding me? a lot of fun. Like, he could he could have an in-home visit with a five-star prospect. He'd be like, nope, nope, clear, clear, clear my <laughs> schedule. I've got things to do. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I'm glad everybody had fun. And uh, your parents showed up, right? They did, and that's and what your, I was fixing your, to clarify and, because uh, quite a few people have asked – that is not my twin sister. I do not have a twin sister. That is my mother. Like, th- they're not even she being does, just nice at this point. She like, does they legitimately look your age. think. Yes. yes. <laughs> but that is Trish, my mother. Uh, yes. But yeah, they got to come out. So it was yeah. great. Very, very cool. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I'm insanely jealous. Uh, but next year, I'm going to be there. Let's do it. Make it happen. We're coming back. We're coming back. 
Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.